Picking up where we last left off from the previous training video, which if you didn't watch, then this won't make any sense, so you want to watch it, I want to take these two tables, the employees and the projects table, and restructure them into two new tables. Why? So it complies with the third junction table here, because these two tables have duplicate fields. Remember, the employee ID is duplicated. Why? Because you can have the same employee working on different projects. And in the projects table, it's duplicated here because you can have different employees working on the same project. And so that's why we created the assignments table, where we can have duplicates here that, well, in this primary key, remember, right click, go to the design view, that in that primary key field, we can have duplicates, and that one, we can have duplicates. You could say, wait a minute, I thought you can't have duplicates in primary key fields. Yes, just in a single field, but if you have two or more fields assigned to primary key, it converts that into a composite key where the combination between the two fields cannot be duplicated. So when I right click and go to the data sheet view, duplicates, duplicates, but I can't have the same record listed twice. So 12, 800, 12, 800, that would be a violation of the two primary key fields or the composite. So I can have the employee ID listed many times, but only once for one project and vice versa. I can have the project number listed many times, but for this project, that employee only once. So when it comes to restructuring these tables, I'll basically just copy these two tables, the employees and the projects table. And what do I want to copy? Just the structure. I don't want to copy or include the data because remember the data is in violation of the primary key. So after I copy the structure of these tables and set up the primary key field, like for the employee ID and the employees table and the project ID and the project table, then I'll create a query to copy over those records into the two new tables, these temporary tables, as it were. But when it copies and wants to paste them over into it, it'll look at those primary key fields and say, oh, wait a second, I can't copy over any duplicates because it's preventing me. So instead, I'll append all of them except just those ones that would be duplicating. So it just brings over one and keeps the duplicates away and doesn't bring them in. So to go ahead and restructure this, we want to copy these tables and just have the structure of it. And then we'll go ahead and use the queries. So let's do the employees, right click on the employees. Let's copy that, right click over here anywhere and paste it. And it's going to be TBL temporary table employees. And you got three options. The structure where it just copies the fields over, the name of the fields and the data type, but no data. Then you got the structure and the data. And then append data to existing table. If you select that option here, you would type in the name of an existing table you'd like to paste or append the data that you copied from the other table. We're not going to do that. We're just going to do structure. Click okie dokie. And there it is. Double click. It's got no data. And what we want to do is you want to assign the employee ID to the primary key field. So let's right click, go to the design view, come up here, assign it there. And we don't need the project ID field here because again, we can't have duplicates. And not only that, but when it comes to linking this table up to our junction table, it's going to be by the employee ID to its employee ID in there. And it's got the project ID, the primary key that will link up to the project table. So we don't need it listed here. Let's right click on the row header and delete it and say yes. And then go ahead and click save. So we have our structure set up for the employee table, the temporary that is. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And let's do it for the projects. Right click on that. Let's go to copy. Right click anywhere here. Paste it. And then TBL for table. Temp. Projects. And we just want the structure only. Click okie dokie. And then double click on it. And well, we should right click on it. Go to the design view. Assign the ID the primary key field. And then the employee ID. It's got no part in it. Because remember, it's not going to be directly relating to the employee's table. But through the junctions. So the project ID is already in the junction table. We don't need the employee ID. Right click on it. Let's go ahead and delete it. And then click save. Let's close out of here. Now we can go ahead and create our query. Let's do it for the temporary employee table first. Come up here, click on the create tab, go to the queries group. Let's do it by design. Click on it. And let's do it for the employees table. Close out because we want to take that and use the action query append what we find in here what gets pulled here and add it to our temporary table so we want to add the employee ID double click the last name and the first name and when you click on the view button of course it contains duplicates but that's okay because let's go back to the design view when we come up here and click on the append and we want to append that to our temporary employee table and click OK 
that remember the employee ID in the temporary table has a primary key field assigned to it so when it says oh can't have duplicates then it'll pull over everything except something that would be duplicated again and so just keeping it unique the entire record one value here one employee ID and let's come up here click on the run button you're about to append 25 rows you okay yes it says Microsoft can't append all the records why because there's duplicates that would be a violation because you have a primary key assigned to the employee ID in the temporary table. Okay, oh, all right, yes. Let's open up the temporary employee table. Do I see any duplicates? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, no, hey, it's working, it's working. Let's go ahead and close out of that. So we have it for this, we can go ahead and close out of that and you know create one for the project table. Come back up here, click Create, Query by Design. Let's do Projects, double click, close out. And we want to do the project ID and project name. And then come up here, click on the append button. And we want to append it to our temporary project table. And click OK. And it's mapping them, project ID to project ID and the project name to project name. I mean, that's just so clean and easy. So keep the names the same is what I recommend. And then come up here and click on run. You're about to add 21. Yes, hey, we got violations because the primary key in the temporary project table does not allow duplicates. OK, click Yes, and then we open it up. Are there any duplicates here? No. Oh, that's looking good. Almost done. Let's go ahead and close out of here. In fact, let's just close out of everything. So we've got the temporary tables that now are built correctly or structured correctly to be able to join up with the join table. So what we need to do is, yes, get rid of our old tables here and just delete them. And the projects, that's right because we're going with their temporaries, which, well, I don't like the word temp because now it's a permanent thing. Let's go ahead and right click and rename them and call this our, see how we're doing that? It's all magic. And now that we've got this set up, let's go ahead and come up here, click on the database tools tab, go to the relationships group, open up the relationship floor, and let's go ahead and click on show table. You want the assignments, double click, close out, and let's see if this makes sense. So we got the primary key employee ID that goes to the primary key in the other field. We'll enforce and cascade, update, delete, click create. We have a one to many. The project ID goes to the project number. Enforce, updates, deletes. There we go. So we can have only one project ID in here, a unique value. We can have it duplicated, the project ID in this table, but we can have many of them in this table. And we can have one employee ID in this table, one employee to focus on, but we can have the employee here in this table duplicated many times because he could be working on many projects. And we can have many projects duplicated here because we have different employees working on those same projects. But collectively, there's no duplicates. So isn't that spiffy? That's how you take care of a many-to-many -many relationship because it can't handle it. So we create our junction table, our go-between, our codependent that says, hey, talk to me and I'll work things out. So it takes some restructuring, but we can do it and we did it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.